here for the French newspaper review. Florence Villeminot, good hey. morning, hello. Uh, now we're going to start off with business owners in the spotlight after they staged a protest in Lyon this week, uh, of course, against the government. That's right, always against the government. That was on Tuesday and it's getting a lot of attention in the French press. Let's take a look at Le Figaro. It says that business owners are annoyed. What are they annoyed about? Well, surprise, surprise, France's fiscal instability. Now, uh, Le Fierro interviews a dozen of these business owners who were at that protest, and two things really come out. They say that, first of all, there are too many taxes in France, and they're too high. And on top of that, the government is changing the rules all the time, jerking them around, giving them whiplash. So uh, in their editorial, Le Figaro addresses this issue, what it calls a double punishment for business owners, this instability plus this tax bludgeoning, as they call it. Uh, it says that France is the world champion when it comes to taxes, and it seems like the government is completely improvising here when, when it's jerking people around. There are lots uh, of little sort of additions here and taking away there. We've seen that quite a lot in the last few months, haven't we? keep changing things, putting taxes in, bringing them out again. So all this is uh, bad for business, according to Le Figaro, uh, and it's stopping businesses from creating jobs. Now, Le Pignon looks at some business owners who have decided to take matters into their own hands uh, they're so fed up with the government that they're actually going to, well, run for office. They're going to uh, join either existing political parties or create their own movement. So Lupignol takes a look at these CEOs who are shaking up uh, politics. OK, um, uh, so quite a lot of sympathy there in the right-leaning press. I imagine it's probably the opposite in the left-leaning papers. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Libération uh, says that, well, you know what, business owners are never satisfied. It's never enough for them. That's on the front page of uh, Libération today. And in fact, they interview the budget minister, <laughs> Bernard Cazeneuve, and he defends the government's policy and he tries to clear up the truth. And he says, you know what, the government's policy is actually in favor of business owners. They're actually getting significant tax cuts. And on top of that, the contributions that they have to pay for Social Security have been cut as well. So all this is, in fact, to boost competitiveness, to create jobs. And in the end, it's households who are really going to feel the pinch here, not businesses. He says the government is extending a hand to businesses, not leaning in for a slap on the cheek. Uh, and Libération in their editorial says, you know what, the, the way business owners are acting here by protesting against the government, it's indecent and grotesque, and it shows what it calls a lack of economic responsibility on their behalf. OK, we're also getting quite a lot of press this week uh, is the National Front Party. Uh, a new poll has put it ahead of other mainstream political parties, nationally or in specific areas? In, for a specific vote, which is going to be the European parliamentary election next May, 24%. That is the uh, number of people who would, well, the, the percentage of people who would vote for the National Front if that election took place today. It's getting a lot of attention. This poll was carried out for the Nouvelle Observateur, and you can see it there on the front page with, of course, Marine Le Pen. Uh, now, uh, l'UMP, so the, uh, the uh, right-leaning uh, um, party, got 22%, socialists 19%. This is really incredible. This is the first time that the National Front has uh, come ahead of those uh, parties. Uh, and uh, uh, according to Nouvelle Ops, uh, as many people feared, it, it could really become the leading a party in France as well. So a lot of people are upset about this, but some people are actually quite happy about this, including this man who you might recognize, Alain Delon, legend of French cinema. He um, gave an interview to a Swiss paper, Le Matin, and he came out in saying that he actually he really approves of uh, the National Front. He finds the party's progress uplifting. Uh, and well, he, uh, he says that all this is due to a sense of gloom and a lack of political action. So it's a big endorsement for the National Front from Alain Delon. OK, we're well, moving on. Uh, French papers looking at a growing trend amongst French graduates. That's right. 79% uh, of, of, of students from France's top schools want to leave France, <laughs> to leave France to go uh, work, actually. This is according to a recent Harris poll. So perhaps agreeing with those business leaders you were talking about, about a lack of jobs and That's opportunities. That's right. Well, that, according to this poll, a lot of it does have to do with the economy uh, and a, well, current morose uh, atmosphere here in France. Uh, Libération takes a look at schools that actually offer programs for students abroad. Uh, for instance, the uh, Nantes Atlantic Design School, it looks at what that school is doing. They've actually opened a branch in Shanghai. 
Students say they're thrilled about it, and actually working abroad there, getting that experience helps them on the job market. OK, we're just going to wrap up with uh, another legend of, here in France, uh, Edith Piaf, the famous singer. French papers paying tribute to her today, 50 years after her death, as we are on France Make It. That's right. Uh, it's on the front page of 20 Minutes. They talk about Lime à la, à la môme. That was her nickname. So Lime à l'amour was one of her very f f uh, famous songs, so it's a little play on words there. Uh, it comes back on her stellar career and uh, the echo she continues to have on people today and well thanks to her we've we've been singing it all morning in the newsroom i've got levy on rose stuck in my head and it's probably never going to go away thanks very much for that and for the press review florence villemino there with a look at the papers here on france 24 time for a short break here on live from paris but coming up in focus we're taking you on patrol along the israeli lebanese border as israel reacts to the latest events in syria and a new president in iran